Welcome to the first year student briefing. This is a pre recorded PowerPoint session. You will have an opportunity to ask questions about the information discussed in this presentation during our live advising webinar on August 27th. I will be one of your hosts for this presentation. My name is Leanne Fitzgerald, Director of Engineering Advising, and also joining me today is Freddie Sally, our Assistant Director of Engineering Advising. We would like to remind you to be sure to review all the information we emailed you about throughout the summer and to go back and refresh yourself with our informative modules in Canvas before the live orientation events. If you recall the Student Advising Profile, or SAP, that we had you fill out and submit back in May, one question on the profile asked you to list one word about how you were feeling about attending Cornell. We took all your word submissions and made this Wordle. As you can see, the bigger the word, the most times it was used. We are happy to see that so many of you are excited for this fall at Cornell, and we are excited to finally welcome you here. Many of you are also feeling eager, thrilled, and curious. But there are also feelings of anxiousness, nervousness, and uncertainty. These are all real and valid emotions, especially in this unprecedented time. We recognize all these emotions that you may be feeling, and we know that your emotions will be fluid and will continue to change. You may start the semester feeling excited, but quickly become overwhelmed. You may start the semester feeling anxious, but before long, you will be feeling hyped and ready. Pay attention to your emotional journey and be aware of the emotional journey of others as well. For today's agenda, we will be discussing the advising model in the college, your responsibilities as advisees, FERPA regulations, and the engineering seminar for all first year students. To start us off, I will turn it over to Freddie. Thanks, Leanne. The advising model in the College of Engineering is a four prong model with the student always at the center. We have professional staff academic advisors in the Office of Engineering Advising, faculty advisors who are assigned to first year students, upper class student peer advisors who help guide you through your transition to college, and advising professionals in the major department that you will eventually affiliate with. In engineering advising, there are four professional staff academic advisors who are assigned to engineering students based on alphabet. As you can see, I advise students with last names that begin with the letters A through G. Leanne advises H through J, Benjamin Martin advises K through Q, and Ryan Delaney advises R through Z. We ask that you stick with your alphabetical cohort advisor when emailing for guidance and making advising appointments. This will help you build rapport and a professional relationship with your advisor. We also have a program and publications coordinator in our office. Her name is Mary Glick, and you may hear from her from time to time. She handles most of our appointment scheduling and communication efforts with students. Engineering advising provides several services that supplement the advising you will receive from your faculty advisor. While we primarily work with unaffiliated first and second year students, we also advise upperclassmen as well. We advise on the common curriculum and planning for major affiliation. We partake in early intervention efforts if students are struggling academically or personally and offer referrals to campus resources. We assist students who may be in distress, serve as a liaison between them and their professors in times of need. Our expertise stems from a passion for student development theory and empowering engineers to make well-informed decisions that ultimately lead to their success. We provide specialty advising for such topics as liberal studies, transfer credit planning, course enrollment, pre-health, study abroad, good academic standing, leaves of absence, just to name a few. 
our physical office is located in Rhodes Hall, room 180. However, it is important to note that engineering advising will be working from home remotely for the fall semester. Our physical office will be closed. You will be able to meet with us virtually via both advising drop-in hours and by individual appointment. All incoming first year students are assigned a faculty advisor. This faculty advisor is also the instructor for your ENGRG 1050 engineering seminar in the fall. We do our best to pair you with a faculty advisor who is from your major of interest. However, there are times when students are not paired exactly, simply due to the amount of students needing to be assigned to a small amount of faculty. You will keep your faculty advisor the entire time you are unaffiliated. Once you affiliate with a major, you will be reassigned to a more permanent faculty advisor from your major. Faculty advisors help students translate their academic interests and goals into an appropriate course of study. They guide students towards meaningful elective choices and would be the one to sign off on your paperwork for substitutions to the curriculum. Like the staff advisors, faculty advisors meet with students to discuss curriculum requirements, policy, and support resources on campus. All first year students must meet with their faculty advisor during the fall and spring semesters of the first year to get clear to pre-enroll in classes. Peer advisors are upper class engineering students who help first year students transition from high school to college. You will have peer advisors in your ENGRG 1050 engineering seminar who will provide the student perspective and give guidance on campus life. There is additional advising support in each major as well. Each major has a faculty director of undergraduate studies or a DUS and a staff undergraduate coordinator. The undergraduate coordinator assists with major affiliation questions and can help students track their degree progress once in the major. They also serve as a liaison between a student and the major faculty. The DUS oversees the major degree requirements and course offerings and can help with any concerns students may have with faculty. I will now turn it back over to Leanne to talk about advisee responsibilities. Thanks, Freddie. Now that we have gone over the various types of advisors in the college and their responsibilities, it is important to highlight the responsibilities expected of you as advisees. Communication is key to staying up to date with university and college information. Please check your Cornell email on a regular basis and please respond to emails that need your attention. Know how to reach your faculty advisor and your professional staff advisor in engineering advising. Be sure to schedule your advising appointments with them in advance. It is rare that your advisors are available the second you need them, so be proactive. Come prepared to your advising appointments with your questions, course plans, and ideas. These will help your advisors get a better sense of what your goals are and how we can help you best achieve those goals. Take the initiative in outlining and pursuing your academic journey. Please be aware of course prerequisites and course structuring before you pre-enroll in courses. Familiarize yourself with the policies of the College of Engineering found in our undergraduate handbook. Know the important dates and deadlines of the academic calendar, such as when the last day to drop a course is or when your prelim exams are, and always be open to asking for help when you need it. You may have heard of FERPA, the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act. This is a federal law that protects the privacy of student education records. Two main rights under this law are that students have the right to inspect their education record and validate its accuracy, and students have the right to some control over who can see their educational record. Engineering advising will not disclose details such as your course schedule, grades, disciplinary records, enrollment status, major, dates of attendance, 
or your address or phone number, to name a few. We cannot share or discuss this information without your written consent to do so, unless the information is being shared with Cornell officials with legitimate educational interest. This means you cannot share this information with your parents or family members unless you give us permission. Therefore, it will be important for you to have an open dialogue with your family and keep them abreast of your academic matters. All incoming first year students will need to complete the ENGRG 1050 engineering seminar in the first fall semester. This is a one credit course offered once per week and taught by your faculty advisor and student peer advisors. It is graded like pass fail. At Cornell, we use satisfactory and unsatisfactory or SU. You will get to connect with fellow engineering students, meet upperclassmen, and receive information from various engineering majors and important resources on campus. We have numerous events scheduled for orientation. Please review our pre-orientation week and orientation week schedule on our engineering advising orientation website and in the new student programs itinerary builder. Please be sure to watch our supplemental advising videos and attend the family and advising webinars. I will now pass it back to Freddie to close our presentation. Thanks, Leanne. You can always refer to our engineering advising website for information, including our services, how to reach us, and schedule a virtual advising appointment. Also, learn more about our staff advisors. Thank you all for joining us, and we wish you the best in the year ahead.